Hi guys, welcome back. Today is day three of the Paleo Diaries. I thought it might be fun to, to get some more people involved. So I know the Paleo diet is not super popular right now, but that's okay. Um, I find it, it works really well for me uh, for improving energy levels, for regulating my digestion, and for improving my skin health. My skin tends to be extremely dry and sensitive, and since I've been on this for the, the past two to three weeks, um, which I haven't recorded, but I've been doing this kind of strictly but not super strict for about three weeks now, um, I thought that I would start to document it because it's a good way of kind of reinforcing good behavior and kind of making sure that I stay on track and am held accountable. So I know personally that that can be so helpful and I was thinking that if anybody else could benefit from that kind of accountability, then maybe we should all do it together. So I'm inviting anyone that's interested into this, this small little Facebook group I'll put the link in the description and you can try to do it with me if you want. I don't care if you guys want to do it for three days, five days, a week, whatever you want. Just maybe being in a group around other people also doing it will kind of help um, help generate ideas of what to eat and give yourself some, some accountability and, you know, maybe post a picture of a meal that you had that day or, you know, a good recipe that you found, so... I will link that group in the description, and without further ado, I'll get into what I ate on this particular day, paleo style. Okay, so in the morning, I started with black tea, almond milk, and honey, very typical. That's what I start most days with. I felt particularly hungry on this day, so maybe that means that the day before, uh, day two of the paleo diaries, I maybe didn't eat quite enough. Um, so right right after the tea, I basically felt pretty hungry, so I had a smoothie with, oh, this was a really good smoothie. I'm reading it now and remembering, yeah, mango, lemon, honey, and strawberries. It was very, very good. And I, I really enjoy like a tart flavor, and the lemon was just, I used about one whole lemon, uh, which maybe would be about two tablespoons of juice if you're using concentrate. I would highly recommend this smoothie. It was just so refreshing and um, just having something a little more acidic in the morning is usually quite good for digestion. And then for a mid-morning snack, I had a handful of cherries. I've been mowing hard on the cherries lately. And the last of um, the horrible banana paleo muffins that I made that I shall never reveal the recipe for because they just did not turn up. But I'll work on a new one for you guys and, and that one we can share around. For lunch, I had a chicken avocado salad. So if I'm not, if my memory isn't mistaken, it would have had like cucumber, some romaine lettuce, some chicken, cranberries, pecans, and then I do um, a low-fat Italian dressing from the store. And so this is, you know, maybe not the healthiest, maybe not the most paleo kind of ingredient, but. Um, I'm allowing some wiggle room for things like condiments, um, convenience foods, uh, just because the majority of the food I'm eating is so healthy and, and our whole foods, um, maybe five to 10% wiggle room for some convenient foods or for some treats. I think that's totally fine. I like to go with the low fat version because if you go with regular salad dressings, they're just full of vegetable and seed oils, which are incredibly high in omega-6 fats, which um, promote inflammation in the body. And for me, give me acne like the next day. I'll have something like even olive oil. If it's from a plant, um, if it's from a vegetable or a seed, it just, it seems to break me out almost instantly. Um, so if I can't get fat from an animal-based source or coconut and avocado seems to be okay, but if it's from a seed or, or vegetable oil, I just try to stay clear best I can. Uh, let's see. Oh, I, I noted here that in the afternoon I took a Tylenol because I had a headache. And now I'm filming this video and it's I think it's two days later um, because this headache has persisted for about three days now, which I'm finding really perplexing because I've been eating so healthy, you would think that it would be like 
you know, I would be just, just be feeling great. But the reality is, is that whenever you change your diet, um, and especially going from kind of eating whatever you want to eating something very whole food, lots of vegetables, lots of potassium, less sodium, you are influencing your electrolyte balance in your body. And so that's kind of my hunch of why I have a headache. And uh, I did wake up with one this morning, had to take another Tylenol. Um, so I'm hoping that it goes away and my body adjusts, but my best guess is that because I'm eating a lot more potassium rich food, I'm cutting out salt, I'm not having starchy food, I'm having plenty of carbohydrates from the fruit, but it's a different kind of carbohydrate. Um, like starches, starches absorb water, you know, fruit has a lot of water attached to it. So this is a very different fluid balance that my body and my blood vessels and my brain is getting used to. So um, if you experience headaches on the first couple days of the plan, I would say that's pretty normal and hopefully it goes away soon. <laughs> Uh, for dinner, I made ribs, and these ribs are from that subscription service I was telling you guys about a couple days ago. It's called Wild Fork, and I've never made ribs before, so that was interesting. Um, our oven is a bit weak, so even though I pumped up the temperature a little bit more than the recipe showed, and I left it in for a lot longer, like probably 25 minutes longer, um, they turned out good, it's just, uh, it just wasn't the, how the recipe said to do it. Anyway, so I covered those in um, a store-bought barbecue sauce, so once again, convenient um, condiment there. And I had that with some sliced cucumber, so that was dinner, very filling. Um, towards the evening, I want to say that evenings are my time of weakness. This is where if there's any chance of me kind of breaking my diet plan, it's in the evening because I just, I get cravings for starchy, dry snack foods. Salty, sweet, doesn't really matter. Just, I like the dry, starchy stuff, which coincidentally is the stuff that just ruins my digestion, gives me horrible stomach aches, makes my skin dry. I don't know, guys, why, why do we crave the stuff that's worse for us? Isn't that just, why is that so unfair? <laughs> anyway, so... I was really kicking myself for not preparing something like those paleo muffins um, just to have something on hand because that just fixes it. You know, I'm like, oh, a muffin, but it's made with the paleo foods and so it doesn't bother me. Um, but I did not have anything like that on hand, um, so I was kind of kicking myself. And I was kind of looking at this gluten-free pancake mix in the pantry, which is not paleo, and I was like, I really want to make this right now. But I held strong, I held strong for you guys and I ended up having a big bowl of applesauce and um, a little bowl of pecans and cranberries. So just kind of whatever. It wasn't as good as pancakes would have been, but it was still paleo and um, it didn't give me a stomach ache. So sometimes you gotta make compromises and it's taught me that i definitely need to keep up with my baking game keep trying stuff out um, i had made a ebook meal plan like last year um, based around the paleo diet but i never i never advertised it i never told anybody about it because like i had mentioned i was just kind of i needed a break from youtube and from the diet community and all that um, but now I'm starting to go back through it and actually trying these recipes. And I know that there's a good one for uh, for coconut flour banana muffins. So I will probably be trying that again. And I will show you how I make that in one of these locks. So that wraps up the day. Um, if you're interested in that Facebook group, then just um, request to be um, invited. Wait, no. Request to join and I will... Um, let you in right away and introduce yourself say hi and i can't wait to see you on there and thank you so much anybody that is watching these videos and, and getting something from it if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see me show or do or, or whatever then let me know and i'll see you in the next one bye